what's up everyone today I'm going to show you how you can pair a PS3 controller which is also called 6-axis controller with your uh, Nexus 4 or any rooted Android device I'm uh, using uh, Nexus 4 for the demonstration purpose in addition to that I'm going to tell you in this video that uh, how you can use uh, the PS3 controller with any non-compatible game for example a game which does not have any PS3 controller or Android controller support a game like uh, Street Fighter 4 it doesn't have any built-in support for um, Android controller but I will show you how you can use the PS3 controller to control such games you need to go to the side the uh, following site that I have mentioned in the video as you can see on your screen and um, go to 6 axis pair tool and uh, download the uh, this exe file for windows save it and uh, once downloaded uh, install it this uh, tool will be used to change the master address of your controller by default your uh, controller will be uh, having the master address After of your PS3 the app connect system mini USB cable and your controller with that when you attach the controller you can see the lights blinking on the controller and also you will see uh, th this message on your screen click yes to install the driver you will also see this message on your screen click install this driver software anyway Once everything is installed, you will see uh, the application uh, will look like um, this and it shows the current ma master address of your controller which is basically the master address of PS3 system. We need to change it to the Nexus 4 master address. You need to run the 6-axis controller app, click yes and it will take you to the settings. Uh, this is the keyboard input settings you have to select the 6 axis controller there and uh, it doesn't matter whether uh, the bluetooth is on or not even if you turn it on uh, the 6 axis controller when you enable it it will automatically turn it off because uh, the, it needs to change the bluetooth state to a certain different state as i press start it shows me the message that bluetooth will be disabled and uh, it also asks for the root permissions I press the grant permissions I forgot to tell you that uh, you need to have uh, root access of uh, your uh, device otherwise you cannot use this 6 axis controller app on your phone this is the master address of your Nexus 4 phone you need to input this master address in the 6 axis pair tool as I have shown on the screen press the update button and it will update the controller uh, master address as shown uh, on the screen now your uh, controller is ready to be paired uh, with nexus 4 phone using uh, bluetooth Before I use it, use it uh, as a controller, there is one more settings. Go to preference game settings and enable gamepad. This uh, needs to be enabled uh, so that the Android phone uh, consider this controller as an Android controller and the games will uh, which have uh, Android's controller support will automatically detect the PS3 controller as a Android uh, controller and uh, no further settings will be required uh, for example uh, GTA Y City and GTA 3 has built-in support for the Android controller so no further settings is required as you can see now I can use my controller to control the phone now I will demonstrate that uh, how this controller can be used for non-compatible -compat games 
this this is the game uh, street fighter 4 doesn't have uh, built in controller compatibility uh, i just uh, start this game and uh, went into the control setting and this i will take a screenshot of uh, this control setting and go to the 6 axis controller to make a profile right now there is no active profile and i will go to the preferences then touch emulation and then edit touch profiles double click this one it will bring up a menu and i will press change background select the screenshot that uh, you just have took from uh, the game it will look something like that double tap and edit background and rotate it so that it looks like this now press back button and now double tap and add button now we need to map the the controller analog sticks and the buttons along with the for, uh, this uh, screenshot that we have took from the game I have just added a left analog uh, stick and align it with the on screen control you can add uh, further buttons and uh, at the end it, it will look something like that now press save save profile as name it as anything you want I will name it SF4 just to make it easy press save and it's saved now now I can safely go back uh, it will say just uh, click OK and uh, go back and now I can change the active profile to SF4 that I have just saved this is only required to play this certain game and uh, for other games you have to select none again for other compatible games no profile is required so in this way you can uh, create profile of any non compatible games so let's check uh, this profile that we just have created on uh, street fighter 4 when i say non -compat compatible games uh, this means that uh, the game which does not have built in android controller support this is just a touch emulation that we have created through a profile and this profile will be using uh, the the touch emulation we have created to control the on screen buttons as you can see now i'm playing through ps3 controller and even uh, you can see the on screen buttons and analog stick moving around as I move uh, my PS3 controller because it is uh, emulating the touch screen through the use of the controller
I just realized that I haven't assigned any button to ultra or ultra special button close to the power meter. For that uh, I can use a different uh, screenshot that I have taken during the gameplay and I will now assign a button to the ultra button. I can assign any button like uh, let's say left one I will use to uh, for the ultra button as I can I align this uh, with this on screen button so just uh, save the profile uh, override it and uh, that's it select the same SF4 profile when you want to play the game any non compatible game you have to create the profile and if uh, the game has a built in controller support no need to create any profile and make sure you have none selected as a profile i hope uh, guys you have liked the video and uh, thanks for watching i will come up with a new video see you later bye